Super versus Legend City. As our scene opens, we find Captain Super waiting for all the kids to come and see him live and in person. Where is everybody? Where are Captain Super's fans? Wait, here comes a kid now. Boy, he's in a hurry. Why, no wonder. All the kids are with Ladmo on the train. There they go. Sorry, Captain Super. Nobody came to see you. They all came to see Ladmo. Now where did everybody go? Captain Super's getting nervous. Whoop, why of course, the boat ride. And there goes Ladmo and all the kids again. Sorry, Captain Super, no one cares. Captain who? Later that same day, Ladmo's on stage. The crowd is cheering. Hold it, justice! Here comes Captain Super now. Uh-oh, the crowd is leaving. Forget it, Captain Super, you're all through. Where are they now? Goodbye now. Hi everybody, I'm Pat McMahon, and boy, what an exciting day this is to remember after all of these years, our amusement park, Legend City. I appreciate being invited to be a part of it. Of course, here at the Arizona Historical Society, they thought it was fun to invite the only person that was here when the Ho-Ho-Coms left. But to tell you the truth, one of my biggest memories of Legend City is just simply being there. For those of you who missed it, this was not a bunch of overnight rides that somebody put up in a parking lot. This was our amusement park, and it was there on East Washington for a lot of years, and it was a lot of fun. Memories of what Legend City meant to me, well, I jotted a few down, and at the top of the list, it was being Gerald, and every single weekend, hoping to avoid being thrown into the lagoon. Uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon, by the way, lived under the moss and the algae and was just waiting for some of those kids. Oh, uh, by the way, one of the adventures that I kind of uniquely and exclusively had, right before our show on either a Saturday or a Sunday, the security police came back and said, don't go on with the show yet. I'll be back in a minute to tell you why. And while and Lad and Candelo and I looked at one another, I said, what's going on? The microphones are on, the lights are on, the audience is there, so why are we holding this up? Security guy came back and said, okay guys, go ahead, you can start the show now. We said, wait a minute, hold on. Why did you delay the beginning? He says, oh yeah, there was a guy in the audience with a gun who wanted to shoot Gerald because he was causing all the trouble and making Lad most sad. Uh, he apparently had just been released from an institution. Those were the fun memories <laughs> at Legend City. Hubcap and the wheels, those incredible audiences that we had for our version of rock and roll in those days. And I must acknowledge a gentleman who has a reputation now and always will as one of the graduates of Legend City that has a reputation unlike almost anybody else's. I sat here in my studio at AZTV where I do a show every morning called The Morning Scramble. And one of the most prestigious neurosurgeons of our time in the world was sitting across from me, Dr. Sontag from Austria. And right before we went on, he leans over and he says, I know we're going to be talking about surgery, but let's spend just a few moments talking about Legend City. <laughs> I 
thinking, Dr. Sontag wants to talk about an amusement park in Wallace and Ladmo. He says, while you were being Gerald, I was flipping burgers in the cafe, working my way through school so that I could work in my field of neurosurgery. And I kept thinking, you know what, there were so many employees there that we didn't even realize might have gone on to great heights, who knows? Wait a minute, it seems to me one of the security kids was a guy named Obama. Well, it's only a coincidence. All I know is, as far as Legend City is concerned, we don't need any of that Six Flags over Heber. No, it's not a chain amusement park, it was ours. It was Legend City, and aren't we having a good time remembering that today?